I'm joined on set with seven time top fuel champ, the one, the only, the Sarge, Tony Schumacher. Tony, thanks so much for joining us again on our Full Throttle TV set. I just love being here. It's a great place. So you spent the last six years with the number one on your car defending the title, and now you're almost chasing that championship again. How is that different? We're always chasing it. I mean, we start out tied. We start out with zero points at the first race in Pomona, unqualified, just another car. It might have a number one on it, but it's still the same situation. We all have to go out. We all have to perform well. And uh, this year we have the number two on the car. We're still going. It's not like we went any time in the last six years and didn't show up with an A game. We always bring our best. We bring everything we can. And uh, it's going to be a great battle. I, it's going to be an outstanding battle this whole year. Well, your name is definitely very well known in drag racing. Tony Schumacher, Larry Dixon, some of the biggest names. The media has hyped it up with one of the biggest rivals. Do you think now that it's a real rival and not just a media rival? Absolutely. I think even though the media was trying to get it started, I think it was started the day Ellen Johnson announced he was leaving the Army team for Ellen Abbey and bringing Larry Dixon over because none of us show up for a paycheck here. We show up for a good, nasty battle. And to take a guy like Alan Johnson with that much talent and put an average driver in that car wouldn't be right. You gotta put a great driver like Larry Dixon in that car. So we have an opportunity to battle the best. And, and they've given it to us. We're winning a championship, taking the number one off our car. But we're back, we have a great race team. I wouldn't want to race against my car any day of the year. Well, the powerhouse that is Don Schumacher Racing has made some changes this year. You no longer have Corey Mack driving in the top fuel car, and you replace him with Spencer Massey. How has that changed the dynamic of your team? Well, I love Corey Mack. Uh, Corey was one of the guys that taught me how to drive a car. In 96, uh, when I started racing, Corey was one of the guys that walked up and said, let me help you out. Great guy, been a good friend of mine, and, and is a heck of a driver. Spencer's a good young driver, and that's what, you know, at the time, Fram announced that they wanted. They said, we want to get this kid in the car. They put him in the car. He's, he's doing a great job. Spencer's going to be good. He's going to make us dig real deep on the start line. He's a heck of a lever, and we're going to teach him how to drive the car real good. So it's going to be a battle. At the end of the year, the one, two, and three uh, that, that we're seeing right now in qualifying is going to be battling for a championship, and, and we look forward to it. Want to see more Full Throttle TV? Check us out online anytime at NHRA.com.